So if you look at this piano, you can see it has white notes and black notes. And if you look really close at those stickers on there, you see like it says F, G, A, B. So F has a sharp, but not a flat. G has a sharp and a flat. And B just has a flat. So G flat is F sharp. And G sharp is A flat. So that's how it goes, kind of. And you can try to... Use your head a little bit. I don't want to bore everyone who already knows this stuff. <laughs> so, no offense if you don't know it. I, 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 it took a lot of time for me. Um, so, so he, am I being a good presenter? She doesn't know. Okay. Well, we. I just... Okay. So, this is the headstock. It's by a company named Rogue, I've never heard of, but I've never heard of any of the companies, to be honest, because I'm new to music. And as you see, it has these screws, and the screws tighten it, so when you play the instrument, the strings don't go out of tune. The being in tune is like, if you pressed that digital piano, it would play the same tone or tune every time. So. Um, if you want to be in tune, and some people say you shouldn't be in tune, I don't, I, no, I definitely understand instances in which you would want to do that, but anyways, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Do whatever you want. It's, it's, it's basically a toy. So, <laughs> a grown-up toy, or, well, not even a grown-up toy, a kind of like adolescent toy. What am I doing, doing this at age almost 33? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm just explaining things. So, um, you s I, I, I bought this in the mail, and I, so I, I, I had to tune it using my electronic tuner. And then I, what I did today was I tightened the screws. Now, I've borrowed a mandolin from my library before, and um, I learned how to play love song because I already knew how to play it on guitar. And so the chords for love song, and I may, may have already explained this in another video. If you press, uh, if you press here, so there's the, you can see it's a set of double strings, but we're nowhere near the, point where we're going to be trying to press like half a string. The double string is like a full string that can be halved, kind of. So um, if you press here on the double string, uh, that's probably A. I don't know what it is. And then I think you press like, let's see here, you press here. Yeah, that's A minor. So um, you press here. Let's see, this is where you press. <laughs> so you press here. I don't know why I'm making this for someone who like completely does not understand. Maybe it's because I'm making it for myself. There, you got your A minor. And then for your G, you press here, and you press here. I'm going to speed it up and just, so you, so you see, you press here, press here, but not here, just press there. So, and then the, that will give you, whoa, no, okay, I, just flip your fingers around. So that will give you G. So if you go like this. And then the tricky one, this is one of the most tricky chords I know, uh, aside from A minor 7, um, is F. This is F. We're just speeding on along. I'm like, okay, fine, fine, fine. Wait, okay, how do we do this? So, 
press the top one here, you press this one here, and you press this one here, and you got your F. So you go A minor. And this is hard, and I never do it completely because, like my friend told me, my fingers are too big for a mandolin, but I'm going to play it anyways because I don't define myself as a big person. Um, <laughs> yes, you laugh. So you, you, press the, you press the second fret, like first fret, second fret, third fret, second fret. You press these two. And what I usually do is, you know, you want your fingers as close to the fret as possible, but I don't know, I don't really know how to, to do that. So, luckily it sounds close enough to my un uneducated ear. So you go A minor. It's like a rhythm thing, so like... This is the Cure Love song, by the way. So... first chorus or whatever and then the second the second one goes with you, you I already explained how to do F F G A minor and then C is like you, you got your G you just move everything over you got your C right did you even see that okay so you got your G So the fourth thing then is right here we go. So, that's like, if you go on the internet and look up tabs, they will tell you to do things like that. They will teach you much faster than this video, just, you know, everyone's got different learning styles, but whatever. Um, not whatever, seriously, I've got a different learning style than academia, so I should not just say whatever. So, so you just... I was told by this 
friend of mine. I'll, I'll, he'll be my friend. So like, like for the piano, this would be a whole note. That's a whole note. This is a sharper flat. And then this would be a sharper flat. Alright, what's going on? the whole thing. And then if we like fret the whole thing, it then sounds bad. But what if we that's where it gets complicated. I just realized the camera didn't catch that. Okay, let's see if I can reproduce it. So we go. sound you like. said A minor 7. This is A, a minor 7. So this is E minor. And that's Between the Bars by Elliot Smith. And uh, I'm perhaps maybe the king or 
I'm I'm basically um, uh, not not Elvis the King. I mean like the overlord of the universe. Elvis may have been the king of rock and roll, but I control all living things with one. Um, I just I'm not going to tell you how because if I told you how, you'd know my weakness. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.